Hey everyone, welcome to another session of the Daily Elastic Bite. And today we will talk about Terraform and how to get up and running with Elastic Cloud using Terraform. So Terraform, as most of you might know, is probably the most commonly used infrastructure as a code tool. So you have the ability to store the state that you would like to have in within a cluster, or within a whole environment of different services within a single file. And then you can make sure that this state is actually reached. And there are so-called Terraform providers, which allow you to use different softwares using Terraform. And today I'm going to talk about the two available for Elastic, which is the Elastic Cloud one and the Elastic Stack one. Before we get started, let's just fire up a Terraform-based Elastic Cloud cluster so that while this is running in the background, we can actually take a look. So what happens here is you usually run Terraform in it to initialize needed resources and providers. And then you can run Terraform apply, which basically tries to make sure that the plan or the, the target you would like to reach configured in the Terraform main TF file will be reached. So this takes a little bit of time. So we will have plenty of time to take a look at things available. And what you actually need within Elastic Cloud, you can see here that my cluster is already starting up, is a so-called API key. And that one is available under Features API Keys. And this is where you need to generate an API key that will be used by Terraform. So I could now click Generate API Key, put a name in here, uh, and then use that when I run Terraform on the command line. So I already did this. This is the key I'm using currently. Um, so there's nothing that we need to set up here in my case. But the more interesting part probably are the two available providers. So we basically have two of those. Uh, the first one is the Elastic Stack Terraform provider. And that allows you to configure parts of the Elastic Stack. So if we take a look at the documentation, uh, there will be cluster settings. There will be the ability to create a data stream or an index to set an index lifecycle, um, to also create a whole managed index pipeline. We will do that in a minute. Uh, but just to make sure the, the basic functionality is understood, as well as adding and removing users or setting up snapshots. So the provider is relatively new. There will be coming more features all across the stack in the future. And one big difference, or the reason why there are actually two Terraform providers, is the fact that we would like to have one provider to manage any Elastic Stack uh, environment. And then we have the other provider to basically manage stacks within Elastic Cloud. And that is the EC provider. The EC provider basically tells you what kind of steps you need to do to do setup. And then you could configure an EC deployment, which consists of several parts. For example, an Elasticsearch cluster, a Kibana instance, an enterprise search instance, or the integration server, which is used for APM and fleet. So how does this look like in practice? So we can see that um, my cluster is already created. We still should probably take a look um, at the main TF file. So this is how you configure the whole cluster. And you can see here, there's a setup part that configures the required providers, EC and Elastic Stack. And for the first example I did, I pretty much only need the EC provider because I'm starting an Elastic Cloud deployment consisting of Elasticsearch and Kibana in this region using this version and using a so-called deployment template ID, which just sets up a cluster for you without having to configure how many instances of Elasticsearch or Kibana you would like to have. And because it's already finished with setting up, we can take a look in Elastic Cloud, go back to our main page, see that the status of this is healthy of my Terraform provider sample. And before we log in, we should probably take a look at the setup and we can see here the different instances up and running. And because I only configured Elasticsearch and Kibana, those are the systems that are up and running. So now we can log in over here and do all the things we would usually do with our cluster. There's, of course, no difference. But what I would like to show is to also create an additional ingest pipeline using this. So when we go to the stack management and take a look at ingest pipelines, we see that there's one pre-configured pipeline but nothing left, uh, nothing else. And now as part of our Terraform setup, we could just configure a pipeline. We will take a look at this in another second. 
uh, we'll just run Terraform apply. Terraform apply makes sure that the state which is supposed to be reached is now also um, applied. And you can see in this example that just configuring the pipeline was way faster than setting up the cluster. Um, again, if we take a look at the Terraform file with syntax highlighting, it's probably easier to see. Uh, we see here that I set a field for my Terraform setup. So this is a set field processor that I also have a Grok processor, which matches this configuration, and that I have an ingest pipeline named my ingest pipeline, which consists of those two processors. So there are different ways of configure processors. You could also go with, with pure JSON instead of having this key value based pattern in here. But for now, I chose this one and taking a look at our pipeline, we basically see that our ingest pipeline is over here, which contains the set processor and the grok processor. So what we could do now is either edit it or we could te test the pipeline. Um, just copying the example below here and have a message that reflects a timestamp. Uh, log level, and this is some message in our fields. Now we could run the pipeline. I see the document is not valid. Let's see. I obviously forgot the closing bracket, run the pipeline, and the expression does not match. So again, I did a typo over here. This is not an ISO 68 confirm timestamp. We can run the pipeline again, and you see here that the Terraform field has been set, and the log level and the timestamp have been extracted. So again, this is just to show how to get up and running with the pipeline. Um, as I said at the beginning, when we take another look back to the Elasticsearch part, right now there's mainly Elasticsearch components, so certain parts that you can set for an Elasticsearch cluster. But again, the plan is to extend this step by step. For example, if you would like to set up a dashboard as part of your Terraform setup, we can take a click, quick view at that one as well. I have another example here, uh, which only uses the uh, Elastic Cloud Provider refers to a local file, the dashboard itself. And once this deployment has been done, what I'm doing here is basically running curl to post this dashboard to the Kibana endpoint. So Kibana is a dedicated API for um, sending dashboards over. And this way, you can basically also manage your dashboards or your dashboards-based JSON files within a version repository and just put them somewhere. So in this example, I just like use this to download my statistics from my personal homepage, put them into Elasticsearch and create the dashboard on top all within my, my Terraform file. Okay, if you wanna know more, uh, don't forget to take a look at the two Terraform providers over here. If you have any questions, either put them in the chat or as usual in our forums. And with that, uh, I would say this is it for today and we're gonna see you tomorrow. Have a good day and goodbye.